Several thousand years ago, doctors were treating illness through bloodletting. The doctor would cut open a vein on the patient and let blood flow out into a vessel. Lucky patients got their blood sucked out by leeches. Bloodletting was still being used in George Washington's time. In fact, he died in 1799 after doctors treated his illness by draining almost 80 ounces of his blood before he finally kicked the bucket. Beethoven wrote his last notes just before doctors drilled a hole in his stomach without any pain medication. Henry VIII's body probably exploded in his coffin. How They Croaked the Awful Ends of the Awfully Famous by Georgia Bragg provides a stream of grossness packed into a twistedly funny and interesting book that will make you glad to live in a time when there's painkillers, soap, and 911. R-O-S-E is a homophone with R-O-W-S. Homophones are very important to Rose, so are rules. In fact, rules are so important to her that she often gets into trouble for breaking down when others break them. 11-year-old Rose has Asperger's, or what is called high-functioning autism, which challenges her teachers, family, and classmates. The only ones who truly understand Rose are her uncle and her dog, Rain Rain, R-A-I-N, R-E-I-G-N. Rose's father found Rain during a storm and brought the dog home. Because she's a rule follower, Rose asks her father if they should try to find Rain's owners. Her father says that if they didn't care enough to put a collar on the dog, they don't deserve her. Rain becomes her soulmate. Can you guess why Rose gave the dog the very special name, Rain Rain? But after 11 months with Rain Rain, Rose learns that her dog did have a family before her. What will rule following Rose do? You'll have to read the book to find out. This is one of my all-time favorite books this year. Rose narrates her story with a heavy thoughtfulness punctuated with homophones as she works through very difficult situations at home and at school. She is courageous and resourceful. She is someone you'll want to have as your friend. We just moved to Bahia de la Luna. Mom and Dad say the cool salty air will help my sister Maya, but I miss my friends and old life. It's always foggy here, and there are ghosts. Maya has questions for the ghosts, but I want nothing to do with them. But soon it will be Dia de los Muertos, a celebration to honor the dead, which means I'll have to get over my fears to help my sister and myself. When we lived in Cuba, I was smart. But when we got to Queens and New York City and the United States of America, I became dumb just because I couldn't speak English. So I got put in the dumb class in fifth grade at PS117. It's the class for the bobos, the kids who failed at math and reading. Also in it are the kids that teachers call delinquents. They come to school late and talk back and are always chewing gum. Even though they're considered the bad kids, most of them are nice to me. Here, Ruthie, 
have some chiclets, they whisper and pass me a handful. We aren't supposed to chew gum in school, so we hold the chiclets in our mouths until we go outside for recess. Then we chew the chiclets to death and stick the gook on the bottom of our desks when we come back inside. Most of the kids know I'm in this class because I'm from another country 